Hello everyone, today we're looking at the Haunted Mansion Ear Hat Ornament Set. This is the third, I think it's the third Ear Hat Ornament Set that they've produced. This is probably going to be the most popular. It certainly has the most appeal because everyone pretty much loves the Haunted Mansion. Um, if we look at the box, it's the same box that the others have came in. It's black and you can get the little mouse ears all over it. See on the back. Sorry for the reflection, I was unable to figure out a way around that. If we look here, we have a little, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that for you and make it visible. Okay. We have the name of the artist here, and I'm probably going to butcher it, so hopefully you can just read it. It is, let's see, I'll go ahead and try. Costa Alavesos, I think. That's how you say that. Sorry if it's mispronounced. And as you can see, I got an incredibly low numbered one. But let's go ahead and open it up and look at these. Be a lot easier to see without this top on. It's really nice. It's obviously meant for you to keep them in the package and take them out. They're a lot easier to see like this. Okay, so here we can see we have a set of five. We have three hitchhiking ghosts. We have Madame Leota and the Bride. So let's take a look at each one. They all have a feature too. So let's take a look at Madame Leota first. Put this down here. If we look, here's Madame Leota. Really, really nice. Got the raven, the instruments. Her, of course goes around her signature that's really cool they do that on all the go actually it'll be interesting to see what the names of the hitchhiking ghosts are I always get that confused okay now she has a light-up feature but unfortunately this I don't feel comfortable this is a friend of mine set and I don't feel comfortable taking the tab out to show you the light-up feature but what I can show you are the glow features I have a UV flashlight here that should highlight the glow yeah, you can kind of see that, and on that side, it looks like the ears glow on that. And I'm guessing, as part of her light-up feature, the inside lights up. But that's Madame Leota. Next one we'll look at is the Bride. Uh, she has a really cool feature in her ears. I don't know if it's going to pick. Yeah, hopefully it'll pick up. You can see on this one. Let's see, come on, yeah. Okay, you can see, see the head goes away on that, just like on the other. I mean, that's just like at the right, I'm sorry. I know not everyone's gotten to ride it. And, and there is something on the other one. Having trouble, okay. There we go, we can see, it. there it goes, okay. He loses his head. She has a real veil. Nice use of the axe and the rose, and her eyes glow. Let's see, hopefully it'll pick up. You can kind of see there the eyes glowing. Very cool. It's really cool when I hit it with this UV light, they'll stay glowing for a little while. It looks really, really eerie. I noticed that when I was playing with it earlier. Look at the back. It's signed. Oh, I did not know the bride had a name. It is signed. Constance. Well, I've learned something new today. So there's the bride. Now we'll look at the one I know of as the skeleton. But we're going to find out what his official name is in a minute. You can see it's one hitchhike ghost. We have the uh, a couple of ghosts from the Right up here, the opera singer, and I don't know the name of that one. I'm sorry. Let's look on the back. This is Phineas, and it's really cool. They put Phineas's hat back there too. That's really really nice. These are beautiful. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like these, but this is the nicest sculpted set I've ever seen. Let's check his glow feature. You can see it's his mouth and eyes. 
So now let's look at the one I know of as the Trappler. We have nice uh, accents of the uh, dancing ghosts up there. Again, he's hitchhiking. Now his hat is on top. That's because in the ride, if you've never ridden it, is uh, Phineas is holding his hat in the ride. Let me get that one out again. In the ride, though, Phineas is holding his hat. He doesn't usually have it on, so that's probably why it's back here. It's supposed to represent that. But Traveler it holds his, as I said. So let's see what the Traveler's name is. It is Ezra. And he's got his little back, or his bag, excuse me, back here. He's... see his eyes glow looks like there's a little bit of glow element on the Let's see can I get that one better yeah you can see their hair glows and a little bit of the character glows back there but you can see his eyes really well there finally we'll look at the prisoner I don't know if I've ever heard a name for him. I've heard of Phineas and Ezra before. And here we have, in his, there's the uh, candelabras that you see, or sconces, or however you want to think of them, at the ride, and the clock. Now, if we look as we're turning him, you can see his ball and chain is back there. This is Gus, okay. And they have his long beard going all the way around him. That's so cool. Now let's see, I think his eyes glow too, if I remember right. Yep, and it looks like the face of the clock does, and the candles. Let's see if I can get a, there we go. So, that's Gus. Phineas and Ezra. If I can get them out of the. Just wanted to look at all three of them together because that's how you see them in the ride, and they're actually, I believe, they're in this positioning too. But just look at the sculpting on them. It's just incredibly. It's. I mean, I hope it comes through in the video how beautiful these are. Like I say, the Haunted Mansion is probably one of the most popular rides there, and all merchandise with it is popular. So if you want these, I'd suggest getting them if it's not too late. It says there's only 2,000 in the box, so it may be kind of hard to come by. I don't know. Oh. Okay, I don't want them falling out. Like I said, they're not mine. Let's see, hopefully. I just wanted to show you the box again. Here, I'll just hold it. Without the, because if I put the, the little cover on it again, it's gonna glare. This concludes our look at the Haunted Mansion ear hat ornament set. Well, real quick, let's see, what did this cost? Well, there is no price on this, so I don't know. I would guess it's in line with the others, which is, I think, 100 or so. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I should have looked that up. I thought it was on here. But this concludes our look at the Haunted Mansion Your Head Ornament Set. Leave a comment in the show notes. Let me know what you think about this. And as always, have a great day.